welcome to a little bit more, a little bit less. I'm actually going to split this lesson into uh, two parts. Um, in this first part, we're just going to see if we can uh, spot some patterns. And in the second uh, lesson, we're going to see if we can use what we've learned to answer some uh, more difficult questions. So let's start with this one here. 3 times 5 equals 15. This is the question I'm going to use to help me answer some other questions. Now first of all, let's think about what that looks like. Well, we've got three groups, and we've got five in each group. And I've got that over here. You can see first group, second group, third group, and there's five counters in each. Now I'm going to see if I can use this problem here to help me answer this problem here. And I'm going to think to myself, how does three sets of six look different from three groups of five? Well, the answer is, each one of these groups has to have one more. So instead of having five, I'll have six. So I'm going to put those in just up here. Now I'm going to move uh, one more to this group up here, and one more to this group up here. So you can see that 3 times 6 is the same as um, 3 groups of 5, which we've got here, 1 group of 5, 2 groups of 5, 3 groups of 5. It's the same as that, and 3 groups of 1, which I've got up here. 1, 2, 3 groups, and then each one of these groups is just those 1 counters. Now I know the answer to 3 times 5 is 15, and I know the answer to 3 times 1 is 3, so if I combine those together, my answer is 18. So, 3 times 6 equals 18. Let's go back to our original question, which was uh, 3 times 5 equals 15. This time I'm going to use it to see if I can answer 3 times 7, Let's see what that equals. Well, just like I had last time, I've got three groups. First group over here, second group over here, third group over here. Um, I've got my five counters in each group. So at the moment, I've got three times five equals 15. And I have to think to myself how I'm going to change it so that it's now three groups of seven. Well, I'm going to have to change it by adding two more counters to each group. So, one... Two to that group, and two to that group, and two to that group. So you can see that three times seven is the same as three groups of five. I'll write that down. Three groups of five, which I know equals fifteen, and another three groups, one group, two group, three groups, where I've got two in each group. So three times two equals six. Now I just need to add both of those amounts together. So this 15, remember, is all of these counters. This six is all of the counters in these groups up here. 15 plus six is 21. So three times seven must equal 21. We can always use this uh, question here to help us answer some questions which are a little bit smaller than that. Um, I'm going to use 3 times 5 equals 15 again, and this time I'm going to use it to help me work out 3 uh, groups of 4. Well, I imagine in my head, or I look over here, there's 3 groups with 5 in each one, and I think to myself, how can I change these so that it looks like 3 groups of 4? Well, the answer is I'd have to go and... Uh, cross out, cross out one from each pile. So cross out one from over there, cross this one out, and cross that one out. Let's have another go. So we know that three times four is the same as three groups of five minus three groups of one. Now that's this bit up here. See, there's uh, one group, two group, three groups, and in each of those places I crossed out one. Well, 3 times 5 equals 15, 
and three groups of one is three, and I need to take those away. 15 minus three is 12. So three times four must equal 12. You can find the second part of this lesson at teachertools.co.nz